Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how I take my makeup off for the day and how I get ready for the night. So I'm going to take off this full face. I'm going to take off the liquid lips. I'm going to do a fun mask that we can review together. Um, so I have a bunch of products. I'm also going to do is I'm going to do a Clarisonic on one side and the Fori on the other and see which one I like better for taking this makeup off. I am wearing a full coverage foundation and uh, setting spray and setting powder. So let's see which one takes off makeup better and which one cleanses better. So to start off, I am going to take off my liquid lipstick and I'm using a paper towel for this because this stuff never come off and I'm using the Sephora Collection Cleansing Water. Not bad. It does not taste very well. Ugh. I mean, it's taking everything off. Then what I'm going to do is try this cleansing water on towel and take off my eye makeup. So, when you're removing makeup, you always want to make sure you double double cleanse. Um, what that means is usually use like a cleansing water or cleansing milk, just something to remove the first layer and kind of get your pores somewhat clean so that way the cleanser that you're going to use really penetrates into the skin and really cleans it out. If you have a ton of makeup on and you just go in with a cleanser, about 60% of the time you're still going to have makeup left over even after you've washed your face. So I do highly recommend you do at least two cleanses, which is the double cleanse. I like to start off with my cleansing water and then I go into um, a regular cleanser. I'm going to be using the Kate Somerville Gentle Daily Wash today. Um, so I'm taking my cleansing water and I'm going to remove my eye makeup. And don't do what I do. Don't pull on your eye. Don't rub. It is really bad to rub on your eyes and like pull it. That's what causes wrinkles. Taking it off. Very nicely. So what I'm gonna do is soak it for a little bit in the cleansing water and then just pull it down. Soak it and pull down to get the mascara off. <laughs> and you want to do inward motions so when you're taking off the under eye stuff always do go in so that way you don't cause any wrinkles or you're not pulling because when you pull out like this like I see a lot of girls do eyeliner or they pull like that that's how you get those little crow's feet and little wrinkles so you just want to make sure you're going in and you're not pushing too hard. I should honestly be using a cotton round, but I don't have one, so this is what we have. Okay, and then I'm just going to do some more cleansing water on this in the corner. And I'm just going to go over my face really quickly, like my brows. I'm going to move what I can, so that way when my cleanser... Oh, it's, it's doing too much. Okay. Now on to the next step. So let's get my, my little for you mini. Get that set up. Oh, just dropped the water. Okay, so we got this. And now we're going to use this. And let's see which one I like better. Or works to remove what I have on. So I'm going to do my Kate Somerville Exfoliate. Oh my god. This I just do. Ew, it just fell in my mouth. 
So I'm going to start with the Claire Sonic. And I do have a glass of water that I just dipped it in. And it says to do circle motions. Not quite sure what that does. Get it in the nose. So, first thoughts are, it is a little bit rough. Um, I definitely feel like it's exfoliating my skin. Um, it's vibrating, and if you can tell, you can't really tell, but it did get off a lot of my makeup. And the center thing is the center bristles are turning. So, did it just die on me? That would happen. So it did get off a lot of my makeup. It turns in the center and the outside um, stays still. So that's what you do the circle motions. It does feel like it, ex it is getting off everything and it does feel like it's exfoliating a little bit. Now, you know me, I always love exfoliation. Like I'm obsessed with peeling my face. I really like the feel of this. The only thing is the vibration's a little strong that I do feel like my hand's going numb a little bit. Okay, now for the next side. I'm going to do, oops. Okay. Next one is this, and I'm gonna do that on this side. So I am gonna dip this also in water. Now let's do this. Well, that's not wet, so I don't know what to do. So this is also a very, very vibrating, like, I don't know how to say it. It's just like vibrating really hard, but this is definitely more gentle. Um, it doesn't feel as rough as the Clarisonic, so it's a little bit better for more sensitive skin or someone that gets irritated easily. I do like this though. It's like little vibrations. It doesn't feel rough at all. Um, I feel like it is getting off my makeup too. I don't know if you can tell, but there is makeup on it. So that's good. Claire Sonic, if you can see, this one isn't foaming as much as this other side. Like with this, it foams a lot more because I feel like it's not scrubbing as hard. I feel like I'm getting a face massage. You can go around the eyes. This one you can also do like around the eyes, which is nice. Like it won't irritate you. Okay, so I guess that's done. Be right back. I'm just gonna rinse this off and let you know what I think. <laughs> Face feels nice and clean. I definitely feel like both the Clarisonic and the Foria did clean my makeup off my skin. My skin feels very smooth. I must say though, the Clarisonic leaves your skin feeling super soft. The Foria does too though. But I really like how this side looks. Don't mind me, I'm breaking out like crazy. It's awful. I really do. I do feel like the Clarisonic side did leave my skin a tiny bit um, softer. I do like both though. I definitely do like both. So if you have more sensitive skin or you irritate easily or you just want some gentle cleansing, uh, tools, I would definitely go with the Foria. If you like something that is more scrubbing, um, gets in a little bit deeper, really scrubs off the makeup, really scrubs your face, I would do the Clarisonic because it does make your skin feel super soft. Okay, so after you cleanse, you always want to do a toner and essence. But you know what? Before we do that, I really want to try this mask. So I just purchased this mask from Bosha. So I thought it would be fun for us to try on camera. So you rip it open and it already has goop coming out. Oh my god. So 
This is the Bosha Charcoal Mask. It says, reduces the appearance of pores and purifies skin by gently and thoroughly absorbing impurities. Blended with bamboo charcoal to expel toxins and minimize pores for a soft, refined, renewed complexion. Okay, so I'm going to pull it out. So when I pull it out, it comes in like this. Well, if I can get it out. I'm just like, oh my god. Oh my god, why is it so wet? It's literally dripping. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so it comes in between this plastic. I guess that was supposed to be attached. Are you doing this right? Definitely not doing this right. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I would mess up a mask. You know, all you have to do is stick it on your face, but for some reason I just can't do that. It's so slippery. Oh my god, why is it so slippery? I feel like it's not even. Hmm. Well, I look pretty. So let's see if I can do the other side correct. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, this is so slimy. Oh my god. It feels like jellyfish. Or something really gross and slimy. Like, it is so slimy that it's like slipping down my face. Like, it's super slimy. But it fits my face really nicely. Like usually the masks are like too big where they like hang off like a lot. It's like not hanging off at all. It's like staying on very nicely. But I must say, this gel texture, I think it's like a gel mask. I'm not sure, but it is super slimy. Oh crap, do I wash this off after? The direction said I leave this on for 20 minutes and then I massage it in to my face. But like literally guys, it's like slipping off my face. It is so slippery. I don't know what to do. Why are you slipping off my face? I wonder if this will really help my pores. We'll see. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes and I will be back and let you know what I think. Don't do that. It doesn't taste very good. Take this baby off. Should I leave this on? Hey guys. I used to walk these roads with you. It's a little slimy still, but it feels very good. if it did anything to my pores yet but it definitely helped brighten 
Your skin feels so smooth. And when you massage stuff in, you always want to do upward motions. Upward motions. Upward motions. Because what's going to happen is if you do downward motions, some one of these times, it's not going to come back up. And you're going to have... You don't want to pull down. You want to pull up. Make sure you don't get any wrinkles. Your skin looks smooth. It's kind of like you had a facelift. First impressions. I like that mask. I don't see a huge difference in my pores or like my breakout looks a little bit redder. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it like sucked it out. Just notice where I had a few pimples. It's a little bit more red. See? So I'm wondering if maybe it like we're sucking it out, like making it come out. So after I do a mask at night, I like to do a toner. This is or a beauty elixir or an essence. This is the Carter Lee Beauty Elixir. I just I love this. I like spray this on myself throughout the whole day. So this can be used before makeup, after makeup, as a refresher, after washing your face, before moisturizer, serum, toner. Honestly, this is it. This is life. So after that, you want to do a serum. And today I'm going to do, I got a little tiny size of the Golden Crocus from Curvez. So I'm going to try that today. And it looks like this, and it's a little gold. Sorry, guys. So, like, what I like to do is do... One, two. And then I take that. Or maybe I should press it in. Either way, upward motion. can look pretty good. After that, we do a moisturizer and I'm using the Bosha I can open it. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Look at it. It's like jelly. So you press it in and it just like goes right back. Mm. Smells good. Mm. That. So, eye cream. Some people like to do an eye cream before the moisturizer. I like to do my eye cream after because then I feel like if I go too high with my moisturizer, I'm not removing the eye cream or putting too much on. So today I'm going to use the First Aid Beauty. Oh, I'm blocking it. Eye cream. It's the Triple Remedy AM Gel Eye Cream. After cleansing, gently apply to the entire eye. So I can massage that as like 360. So let's pump a little bit of this out. Um, does it want to come out? Oh, there we go. So then I'm going to take this on my fingers. Mm -hmm. 
How's my skin look? Mm. Let me open the light. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for my gold. As I break things. But look how nice my skin looks. So bright. See? So, that was my skincare routine. I like to do every morning and night a cleanser. Well, actually not in the morning. So, I don't cleanse in the morning because my skin does seem to get dry. So, when I wash my face in the morning, it just gets it too dry. So, what I do is I just splash my face with water in the morning. And I do morning routine is a toner or essence, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, primer, then my makeup. At night, I do a cleanser, an exfoliator, a serum, oh wait, an essence or a toner, a serum, an eye cream, a moisturizer, and sometimes I'll do like a mask or a sleeping mask depending on the day. But I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know if you guys have any products you want me to try. Let me know.